We're starting off this video in really good spirits because we just got a shiny Pokemon from the all new Sustainability Week event. Right before I pulled up to the park, I got a shiny and I had to catch it because my Go Plus was gonna get to it if I didn't. But this happened minutes ago. We got a shiny Pharaoh Seed. This guy is officially spawning with the event and I got it. One of the coolest shinies in the game. This guy was so incredibly hard to get for a really long time. I got him way back when, when he was incredibly hard to get, but this is gonna be our second ever shiny pharaoh seen in pokemon go a very rare shiny and it's mine what an amazing way to start off this video down it goes right there i have not iv checked it though but i was super juiced and this like literally just happened so i'm still still excited and here it is again i have not iv checked it i don't know what to expect 314 cp ivs on this shiny are 3 4 11 nothing there but what an amazing way to start the video heck yeah you love to see it we rarely start off an adventure by getting a shiny it does not happen off and the time just doesn't allow it but today we did so yes the all new sustainability event has started in pokemon go and it's actually kind of a good event we have the brand new pokemon already on our nearby filling it up we have oranguru which we're going to be catching today but also we have a new shiny shiny cherubi has been released in pokemon go and so is the whole family it's honestly pretty underwhelming but it's a new shiny i would expect it to be semi rare so i'm gonna go for it today now here's a collection challenge we've already caught a grimer but we need to catch a weeping bell gloom trubbish Grottle and Cherubi. Thing about this collection challenge is that Cherubi and Gloom can only be caught from a mossy lure. I claimed a free mossy lure from your in-game shop. Go do that as well. And we're gonna go ahead and throw it down right here because I need to catch myself some Cherubi. And then we also have a Grottle right there. Spawns in the event are pretty good, dude. We'll talk about that more in a second. I just want to see what our first spawn is going to be from the mossy lure module. Come on, something. There's been absolutely nothing spawned from that. There we go. Finally, we got a freaking Chikorita. That's not what we wanted, but all right, Probish, no shiny. That's a shiny I don't have, and that's a nice spawn. We love those. And then the pincer's a great shiny. Not going to be one right there. But remember, we got to catch this grottle for the collection challenge. Let me grab him. And we're walking over to where we found the Oranguru. But hold on, there was a Cherubi that just despawned as I started recording. Hold on, it's like right here on the corner. There it is. First ever shiny Cherubi check, and that is not going to be a shiny. All good. Here is what we're here for. Mr. Oranguru. One of the weirdest looking Pokemon. Honestly, a really good design though i will give him that 2155 oranguru this is a pokemon that if you showed it to me and i didn't know what it was i'd be like is that a mythical pokemon like it just looks way more special than it is i think it's got a mythical catch right here because it jumped out of a ultra ball curveball raspberry great all that good stuff one two and three 2155 weather boosted I don't know if this guy's gonna have any relevance. I would imagine, if anything, only in some kind of PvP uh, league. But anyways, Pokédex Oranguru goes down right there, right off the rip. What a start to the adventure. Down it goes, 2155 IVs. Okay, whatever, Some Normal and Psychic type, and this guy gets pretty fat, man. And one of the rare spawns in this event, we are tracking down a Venusaur. I've actually seen like three of these guys on the way over here. So they're definitely around, and this is definitely a rare spawn, and this is a Shiny eligible. It's happened to me before through a raid, but let's see if we can get a wild shiny Venusaur down here. Oh, and there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, wild shiny Venusaur. Can we do it again? This is an incredibly rare shiny. No, not gonna be a wild shiny. 16, 16 CP. I am gonna go ahead and grab this though. But we should probably talk a little bit about the event as I catch him on the first ball right there. Three XL candies as well. You'd love to see that. IVs on it or whatever. We should probably talk a little bit about the event though. You know, what's spawning, what's in the research, all that good stuff. And a quick breakdown of the sustainability event. It's going until April 25th at 8 p.m. It's gonna be two times XP from spinning a stop. You get a collection challenge and you can get some mega energy from research. We have the new Pokemon Oranguru. We have the shiny family of shiny Cherubi. There's a free bundle in the shop where you can get yourself a free mossy lure module. Seven kilometer eggs will include Alola Diglett, Larvitar, Cherubi, and Oranguru. Kind of gonna pass on that, especially after this egg event that we just had. There's gonna be a timed research during community day, a limited time event going down this community day. It's gonna be going all day and each phase of the research is gonna require you to walk one kilometer and you're gonna get a Cherubi encounter every time. So a really good opportunity to get shiny Cherubi. I'm not really tripping if I don't get it throughout the week because I feel like we'll have a bunch of chances on community day. And speaking of which, Bay Area, I am hosting an official community day meetup. If you guys saw my last video at the Alola Sancho community day in Oakland, they absolutely flooded the place of Pokestops. There were so many spawns. I'm also gonna be giving away some codes for free items. So if you guys come up to me and we take a picture and all that good stuff, say what's up, I'll give you a free code. I don't know how many I have, but I'll get those. Bye. 
haven't held an official Bay Area meetup in like three years. If you're from the Bay, make it out there. 2 to 5 p.m. Jack London Square, Saturday, April 23rd. New Pokemon with Stuffle, new Shiny with Stuffle, Cherubi Research Day, free items, I mean, the whole nine. Anyways, back to the spawns with a Mossy Lure module, you do get a Gloom, Weeping Bell, Chikorita, Grottle, Cherubi, Sawaddle, Alola Diglett, Blossom, and Ninkata. And in the wilds for this event, you get Oddish, Grimer, Turtwig, Grottle, Cherubi, Trubbish, Pharisee, Dorango, Venusaur, and Phantom. The last two being the rare spawns in this event. And then, of course, we have field research tasks. They're okay. I mean, you can get the grass starters from the Catch 5 grass types. If you walk three kilometers, you get a Phantom. That seems a way too hard. Catch 3 Grimer gets you a Trubbish. Walk one kilometer gets you a Cherubi. And then, if you want to save money for some very, very useful Mega Energy, you can do the Power of a Pokemon 5 times for 50 energy. There's the field research encounter, shows which ones are shinies and the hundos are right there. The rewards for the collection challenge, a little bit of a spoiler, it's gonna be 10,000 XP, a Meganium encounter, and 15 Grey Balls. We also just got invited to a Rock Ruff Raid, and I haven't done a Rock Ruff Raid in a really long time. I have this shiny, which is awesome, but I wouldn't mind getting another one, it's still very, very rare. Now the reason I wanted to do this is because this actually helped us finish our final stage of the Ula Ula, uh, how, what is it? I don't even remember the name. Whatever the special research is right now, sorry about mispronouncing that, I totally forgot what it is. But we got the winter raid task done, as you see on the bottom right there. Go to summary, can I get a random shiny rock rough today? Cause I will just be, okay. <laughs> I don't know if I really deserve that shiny, so I'm okay with that, but let's go ahead and grab it. 5, 12 CP, I'm pretty sure that sucks, and it does. But yes, the Ula Ula adventure is finally all over. Give me 10 great balls, give me some, some, what are those called? Pineapple berries. And an encounter reward, the final one is gonna be a Lola Vulpix. Catch for our collection challenge. Trubbish, no shiny. But down that goes, we are one step closer to finishing the collection challenge. Now, unfortunately, the Mossy Lure just sucked for me the whole time and I didn't get any of those spawns. Oh, I got a Cherubi. I didn't even catch it though. Well, whatever. I still need a Weeping Bell and a Gloom. So, oh, the Mossy Lure is still going? It's been a long time. I didn't think I was gonna get anything else. All right, let me double check, see if there's anything back there, but I haven't seen a Weeping Bell this entire event. I'm at the Mossy Lure module. There's a Grotto spawn, so we're chilling for right now, but there's something I wanted to show you guys. So if you guys recall, if you guys watched my last adventure, first of all, go check it out because that was the craziest egg hatch setch I've ever had. I mentioned that I was going to the Warriors game, which I did, and we won, but on the way to the game, I was Go Plusing because San Francisco is, you know, one of the best places to play Pokemon Go, and I got a little something. Check this out. This is not a regular old Psyduck. It's a Hundo Psyduck. I don't know why it spawned. Actually, what am I talking about? I was in San Francisco on the water. I don't know why it was a Hundo though. Love to see it, a brand new Hundo in the collection. Not brand new like I've never got it before, but brand new like I just got it. And now we have the full Psyduck Hundo family. One of them is a random purified Hundo, but yes, another Hundo family completes. I feel like we're just completing families every video. The Riolu Shinies last video and the Psyducks Hundos today. Also a quality of life thing, it'd be pretty awesome if it showed you how much time was left on the lure modules. I'm gonna talk to Niantic about that, see if they can do anything. That'd be amazing, right? I think that'd be an amazing quality of life update. Just see how much time is left in the module, whether it's 30 minutes, an hour, or whatever, just show me. Also, one last Pharisee check right there that spawned. Okay, I do want to finish this collection challenge in this video. So, I guess I'm gonna chill here. If I get the gloom, you guys will see it and we'll finish the collection challenge today. If not, then I guess that's it, guys. And actually, one last thing. I am hatching three two-kilometer eggs right now, but these are two-kilometer eggs from the last event. These are the last of the eggs, the final eggs that can contain Ryolu, at least in two-kilometer eggs. Come on, baby. Oh my gosh, if I can sneak out another shiny somehow, hopefully, or even just a Ryolu hatch, that would be absolutely amazing. The final egg. Don't do me dirty to wrap it up. Much lax. <laughs> not a complete L yet. Let's see the IVs on everything. Yep, that's a, that's a complete L. 